first warning weather, the area's certified most accurate forecast. Marissa, we had another day of ups and downs, but we ended on a high note. We did. The sunset photos were really pretty. Yes. A few people sent them to me tonight, which was nice. And I think tomorrow we will get more sun into the forecast. And notice we're really clearing things out overnight, and that will cause our temperatures to fall back into the 50s range. But there might even be some upper 40s in the Adirondack Park. But temperatures will rebound tomorrow afternoon, which will be nice. Now your headlines for the week will be mostly dry for tomorrow, but unsettled weather returns turns for Tuesday and Wednesday, but good news, I'm eyeing a dry spell as we move into late week. Storm Tracker shows this cold front just to our south, and it was very stubborn and held strong today, leaving us with a lot of clouds in our neck of the woods. But now things have really started to clear out thanks to this high pressure in place and in control. We're checking out all this dry air that is now in our region, so we'll soak it up for the day tomorrow, right before we bring back the chance for showers on Monday night. Now highs today were pretty impressive into the upper valley in the upper 70s, but the Champlain Valley only got into the low 70s and this was closer to five o'clock this evening where that sun really started to break through. Now our temperature outlook though as we move towards the start of September, this is released by the CPC, the Climate Prediction Center. We're actually expected to really heat things up, be a couple degrees above average as we move into the start of September. So we do have that to look forward to. You don't need to put your shorts and t-shirts away just yet. And then our dew point trend does go up as we expect the rain and moisture to move into our area on Tuesday. But let's time that all out for you. Tuesday, Monday, we'll clear out overnight. We'll have a few fair weather clouds in the morning. But in the afternoon, we'll really start to see the clouds thicken up, especially in southern Vermont. We have some showers that are going to lift into our area tomorrow evening during evening commute time. And this will also linger into the overnight Monday and into Tuesday morning. A few downpours can be seen at 6 o'clock on Tuesday in the Champlain Valley. Again, these are really hit or miss or nature in, in nature and it will depend on your location. I think the northern portions of our region will have the best chance for some of these downpours as we move into Thursday, Tuesday afternoon. Good news is we really start to clear things out, especially as we move into the afternoon on Wednesday. So we have that to look forward to. So the plan for tomorrow, most of the sun in the morning by five o'clock, we'll notice some extra clouds filtering in and we'll have that chance for a shower depending on where you are. Now her all eyes have also been on Hurricane Franklin. Things in the tropics have been really starting to get active here. It is now a category two hurricane and although it won't be impacting us directly, it is going to be impacting Bermuda significantly. They're now at the five o'clock update. It's expected to strengthen to a category four hurricane, which is one of the stronger hurricanes this hurricane season. But if you're heading to that area for a last minute vacation, you'll definitely want to pay attention to that. And we also have a tropical storm Idalia now in the eastern Gulf. And it's projected to make landfall on Florida as we move into Wednesday morning. Winds at 100 miles per hour. I don't think this will impact our weather directly, but there is a good chance we might have extra moisture as we move into next weekend. The good news is we'll be dry for Thursday, Friday, and leading up to Labor Day weekend. So definitely keep those outdoor plans in as of now.